Hey guys and girls, Joshua here from Smarter PT, the fitness business agency. We help trainers worldwide connect the dots in their fitness business to get more clients, get more sessions, more income, but more importantly, long-term success. We get it all the time on Facebook and our emails daily from trainers who want to know how to promote personal training. People want to know the marketing secrets, if there's some special hack or easy tricks that can help them explode their fitness business without working harder. So today for free, this is my video to you guys and girls. I want to help you understand what is needed for how to promote personal training. So what are the pain points? Why do you need to know how to promote PT? Is it that you want more clients? Maybe you need more clients since you want more income and success in your fitness business. Is it that you feel like you're running the same race, you know, getting clients, then losing clients. Clients are maybe not flocking to your personal training offers, or maybe you're brand new to PT. This is your first year of personal training and you wanna be a successful PT and make a viable career from this. No matter the, de the decision or reasons, this video is going to help. Now you might've heard of this strategy, you might be doing it, but after coaching trainers for many years, I know there's only a small percentage of trainers that actually do this 100%. So watch this don't skip and just action it. I believe especially PT businesses, we need to be setting up a solid foundation so you can build a successful business. So let's get into this. The first thing that we need to establish is clients and leads and where they need to be coming from. Now I've even seen many coaches and gurus of the fitness world get this wrong. We have obviously online and offline leads. I know trainers want to know how to promote personal training of their fitness business and we're always thinking and looking to, you know, Facebook, you know, Google, Instagram, because this is promotion. You know, there's ads and the idea is to get likes, shares, comments, tags, and retarget, which will hopefully turn into a conversation or someone saying, help me, I need PT. But Using online promotion 100% for your offline business, which is your one-on-one -on -one training, it's only going to produce a small percentage of actual usable leads compared to the offline strategies we recommend. This is why I said that most gurus get this wrong. Even most PT coaches say that 80% of marketing needs to be online, but this is really wrong. So while social media is important, the biggest way that you can promote your personal training is being in the gym. Look, you are already spending a huge budget of your income on rent. Some trainers are paying $350 a week in just rent. If I told you to spend that $350 a week on Facebook ads, you'd think I was crazy. So use that rental budget to good use and be the face of personal training at your gym. We get trainers who say they are, you know, there all the time. You know, they're there from nine to five every day. But guess what? Every one of your potential clients and prospects are at work. So while you might be at the gym, be at the gym at the right time. No one is going to know that you are a trainer or want to be a client if they don't know you are a PT there. So know when the gym is the busiest. Ensure that you can schedule sessions initially around peak times, but allow for spaces between sessions so prospects can approach you and you can approach prospects as well. Remember, if someone is at the gym, they have signed up to the gym. They are committed to improving something within their health and fitness, so be the one that can help them get greater results. Now, being at the gym at the right time is just one part of the formula. You need to be there at the right time, but also you need to be seen. Don't be that trainer that is always, you know, out for lunch or coffee. Don't be the trainer who's hiding in the office or the trainer, and I've seen them, watching TV and movies on their iPad. Don't chill out, be productive and work for it. You're going to get more leads from your gym members that see you. They see the style of your training. They see you at the gym at the end of the day and the type of results that you're getting with your clients. So be at the gym at the right times, but also be seen. The next step is friendship and trust. Potential prospects are going to reach out for your help if you are there in the gym, but more importantly, they know who you are. It doesn't matter how much more shredded or skinny the other trainers are. If you are there and they are not, and you have 
built that relationship, they're going to be more inclined to take you up on your offer than someone else's who isn't there. So make it a part of a mission to you know, say hi to everyone, ask if they need any help, learn their name and develop a connection and learn something about them. Another big yes to promoting PT is to promote your personal training in the club. Now you can promote your services on the club's website or Facebook pages, but we have found that branding is always an issue with the bigger clubs. So for all intention purposes, promote yourself as you as a person, not your business or your brand. Create videos that your club can actually upload and the information that they can actually use, which is, I guess, generic branding. The beauty is that anyone who comments, likes, shares, or tags, you can jump in there on the Facebook page, add them as a friend, then add them to a private Facebook group. Now this is online in the club promotion, but let's focus on offline promotion inside the gym. And many gyms will allow this, provided that it's not absolutely everywhere. Now, I don't wanna see these A4 pictures of just your face and qualifications. This isn't an offer and most clients don't care if you are TRX qualified or whatever it is. Have a professional A3 big flyer about one to three offers. A catchy flyer with the contact details, maybe about a 12 week weight loss challenge with five to 10 hot inclusions. Because I know that you can't be there 24 seven to promote your business. So something that directly links your prospects to you and your offer is the key. If you are busy, prospects will see that. So the flyer, that you're promoting and it's talking to them about what they want and you know it's going to help them to make that connection saying cool i want the meal plans i want that workout i want that boot camp and guess what they're going to message you to say can i please join i used to get sms's from prospects all the time wanting help by looking at a promo that i had inside the gym now remember facebook pages tagging clients google listings instagram these are all online and I needed to promote your business. This is awesome and will create business, especially if you are using targeting ads as well. But remember these offline strategies, being there at the right times, promoting your service, you know, professional branding of flyers, um, being in the gym, being the trainer that everyone knows, you're going to get more people interested in you and your services. I built to six figures initially, primarily on new gym walk-ins. You know, being the only trainer there at the right time, helping out, being on the floor as a guide to help members, but also allowing easy contact and showing prospects my offers and just being there to help. So as I said, this is foundational stuff that you need to be doing 100%. These aren't hacked secrets or anything like that. These are real strategies, they're real trainers that we are actually coaching that's working for them and it's ensuring that they have a six-figure business or a multiple six-figure business within personal training. So if you need any help team, you know where you can contact me. Contact me in the comments, add me to Facebook, reach out, and we'll see how we can help you further. I'm Joshua, and I'll see you in the next video.